What's up? This is D Money here from Juice Radio. You can listen to us at any time at GoJuiceRadio.com. And we got another fresh Ghost Face Off interview for you. Today, I'm interviewing Logic, the latest winner in our little contest. He won 478 to 68, and that is a record in vote margin over Mike Starr with his single, Rain Falls. 2011 was a great year for you. You released an EP, Problematic, and a mixtape, Finished Flow. Um, what's the differences between these two projects? Um, well, Problematic came out, it was like a collection of songs that I had pretty much like laying around, so I really couldn't figure out the name of what I wanted to call it. So I just, you know, I had problems in a work and trying to put it together, so I just called it Problematic. <laughs> Not really had too much theory to it. And then I put uh, Vintage Flow out um, half of last year, and then I, I put it on iTunes within the last uh, couple months. I put it out in November as a re-release. But yeah, it's got about nine tracks on there, and it's just kind of like a vintage style of flow. Like I'm like a, a early '90s baby, so I kind of yeah. like adapted that whole style. And I like that's that's like when hip hop really intrigued, intrigued me. I like fell in love with hip hop around that time, so I kind of made music around what I love. So yeah. vintage flow. Yeah, and speak, keeping up on 2011, that was when you went out with Currency um, West Side Tour, West yeah, Coast West Tour. Coast Tour. Um, how was that for you? Um, basically touring out there, putting miles on the dash with Currency and um, Smoke Dizza, and yeah, it was uh, it was love, man. Um, I met Currency about 2010, like beginning of 2010 at a. Uh, the South by Southwest showcase out in Austin, and uh, I met Musa, which is his manager, and me and him became real good friends, real cool. So I started bringing him out here for shows, and it just kind of like took in consideration that I was doing a lot of things, was making a lot of moves. So it was like, you want to come with me to a couple cities? So I was like, cool. So I tagged along with with them. It was Smoke Dizza. Um, currency, trade, Roddy, the whole Jet Life tour, you know, they hold it down, man. They do, they, they do a lot, man. They go in. You got a funny story from your experiences on that tour? Um, not so much from the tour, but um, the young K Casey Carter, we picked her up from uh, the hotel that was hanging out with Currency, yeah. and I was taking Currency back home in Vegas to his uh, to his hotel, and. Um, Man, he, like Casey Carter must have had too much to drink, but she almost threw up on currency. So, shout out to young Carter. Young Miss Casey Carter, I had to share that story. So, you know, sometimes people got to throw up, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> oh, and also much love, Casey Carter, for that award show that you actually, uh, we recorded this the day after um, that award show. Um, Logs right here actually won Best Hustler. But um, I don't know how to measure that. I don't know if like the ratio of hustle, but I'm glad I was nominated and I'm glad I was accepted as being the representer for your hustleness. <laughs> so. Yeah. Um, I'm speaking of you seeing your sneaker right here. I mean, you are a sneakerhead, and oh, I think yeah. on one of your uh, tracks on, I think your mixtape, you basically that is your chorus. But um, what is um, what was the first pair of Chucks that you had? Chuck Taylors. No, the first uh pair of kicks you've ever had? Oh, well the first pair of Chuck Taylors I had was probably like 12th grade, but okay. the first pair of sneakers that I can remember me having, besides like Ninja Turtle sneakers or something, <laughs> or Jordashes, um, it was like the 93 or 4 Air Raids, okay. they had like two straps that came across the top, and they were real filthy. Okay, okay. First pair of Jordans I think I had were like... You know, I came in the Jordan game late, man. I mm. think the first Jordan game, Jordan shoe I had was like the 14s. Okay. And that's when he was getting out the game, but, you know. That's cool. Couldn't afford them at a very young age, so. That's why I think I have them now, so, you know. Okay. Now, let's um, let's talk about the future. You have a, an, um, a collaboration with 84 Fly on its way. You released a single, um, Flying in Paris. Oh, yeah. So, uh. When is this project, is this project getting the light or what? Uh, we're working on it. I got a, a solo project. He's got a solo project. Um, I got another mixtape I'm dropping, but we just collectively put together like three or four songs. We got about another 10 to record. So mm -hmm. we're just kind of like molding the, the tape as it goes. So it's not like really set out like we set out to do the project, but I think we will probably within a, the latter parts of this year. Okay. So. 
And um, a little bit more about the, um, your solo project you got coming up. Oh yeah, yeah, it's called uh, Live From The Sin, you know, because I'm originally from Vegas, so uh, the tape's molded around Vegas, so just my experiences of what I what I had to do to grow up out there, and there's a lot of bangers on that, on that album. Um, I got a song called Stussy Pack, I'm shooting a video for in the next couple weeks with D2s. Um, yeah, cool, cool. Um, thank you, Logix, for coming out. Um, appreciate you. Um, before we go, Tell them where you can find them on the web. Oh, yeah, check me out uh, on Twitter at Alogix, um, Alogix.com. If it's on Facebook, you can check that Alogix. All, it's everything Alogix, man. Check it out on YouTube, Twitter. You know, Google me if you want to. I got a show February 17th with me, Lupe Fiasco, Bun B at the Memorial Theater, man. Be there if you want to check out some more information on that. Hit the website up, Alogix.com. All right, this has been D Money right here. Another Fresh Coast Face Off interview. Wait till next week. We'll have another one for you. And always keep stay on the vote at GoJuiceRadio.com. Go click on Fresh Coast Face Off. Alumni Company. Peace out. It's your boy A Logics chilling. You know what I'm saying? Catch me out. A Logics.com. D Bellis Juice Radio. You know, if you need the juice, open up a can of OJ. Sit back. Play it on your iTunes because that's what I did. This guy plays like Raphael Sadiq mixed with like Suede and Nima and a whole bunch of other different songs. So shout out to him. Shout out to my competition that that didn't make it, but it's all good, man, because it's all love at the end of the day. Alumni.